yes my subscribers and my friends and my families out there in YouTube land <laughs> it's a beautiful day it's, it's a beautiful day it's gonna rain tonight tomorrow but you know what for what it's worth today it's a beautiful day went and got my hair done and all right she gave me a nice brownish looking thing I don't know but um tonight I had to drop in because I should have sent you a little message um on Monday but I didn't get it done I am on spring break but spring break doesn't mean that the work stopped <laughs> Spring break means that I'm just not in the building working, but um, I'm here, still have to get grades in, um, you know, get a few things done, put things together to help my students when I get back to work, all being well, God's willing, because nothing is guaranteed, and so I just don't want to take it on myself and to think that, okay, tomorrow is promised to me. Um, so yes, people, I talk about the 900 giveaway, um, trying to reach 900. I'm at 846 right now. And I'm telling people, look, if you want to do something, get up and just start, get up and start, get your network going, join up with people that will support you and encourage you and and help you along the way um i i can't stop giving thanks to jamaica life nice to prince nick and his and 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 queen queen um just just how much support they have garrett they have given to me and my channel and so it's 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 true that if you have an idea, get up and work on it. Ask for help if you need help. Don't ever struggle with things by yourself. Because sometimes when you ask, as I said, mouths that keep shut never get fed. <laughs> and so a lot of times when you ask, there's there might be somebody there. And if they don't know, they might recommend somebody who knows to support. So right now I'm on the journey and we're on the journey, we're on the journey and you're on the journey with me and I thank every one of you who have, who have just, just so awesome, just, uh, you're just so awesome. Um, a lot of you from Jamaica Life Nice um, came over to support, a lot of you who, you know, come from different parts to come and support me and so as I continue on to the 1000 I am just saying I want to say thank you by doing another giveaway so on Friday night people which you have one day <laughs> one day to leave how should I make it Monday scratch Friday on Monday night people I am going to be doing the drawing, so you're going to have tonight, tomorrow, is Thursday, and then Friday night. People, I'm 61. <laughs> I'm entitled to making changes, right? Scratch it. In the descriptions, I'll tell you definitely that Friday night, we're going to do the drawing. So this is what you need to do. I'm saying it now, and I will say it again in the descriptions. I'll write it in the descriptions for you to see it, that you will go out and find a new subscriber from Miss Bev's production. The subscriber, the new subscriber will write in the comments, will put your name in the comments and tell me that you brought him or her to my channel so if you came from jamaica life nice you're going to well king nick would have to put a, a thing in or, or lady or queen v put in that they brought you in and so their names will go 
on your thing and your name will go on. So when I pull, both of you will get the $50, right? So I'm giving away $50 to a new subscriber and the person who brought that new subscriber. So the people you bring in, make sure in the comments they're putting your name in the comments when they drop the three purple hearts, three purple hearts people, one, two, three purple hearts. You will drop that in the comments and say, yes, please put me in the drawing. I want to be in the drawing. And my new subscriber is so-and-so. The new subscriber will drop the three purple hearts and they will also say, um, they want to be in the drawing. They were brought to the channel by whoever brought them. So I'm going to put that in the description. And remember, people, good is good all the time, not sometimes, but all the time. Don't be ashamed to talk about the good that you do. Because, as I said before, let me say it again. When Christ was on earth doing good, he didn't hide it under a bushel. He didn't hide it behind closed doors. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He fed the multitude. He did all those the good things in plain sight so we could see it and know that we should live and to do good. He didn't hide it. When I was growing, I didn't see my grandmother hiding when she was doing good. She never hid anything. She was sharing with the neighbor. She said, come Bev, come run, bring this, go give me so-and-so. Oh, come bring, you know, this, go give my so-and-so. They didn't hide the good they do. Today we have people being encouraging people to feel ashamed of doing good they shouldn't talk about what they do they should you know anonymous and this and that don't do it if you are hiding the good you do what will your legacy be who will know that you help a young child in need who will know that your legacy of kindness is there Nobody will know. So please, people, when you do good, you're not going out there to brag and say, oh, look at me, I did this. But you are going out just saying, people, listen to me. I am so thankful that God has blessed me enough and has given me the heart that I am able to give back. As he said, the least you do for one of these, the least you do. For one of his children, you have done it for him. So why are we hiding? Don't ever hide kindness. Kindness is a good thing. And just how the people are out there hurting people and doing what they do, they're not hiding and doing it. They're out there in broad daylight hurting others. So people, let me tell you this. It's a good thing when you do good. It gives you a feeling of, I, I don't know, it gives you a good feeling inside. So don't be ashamed of that. Don't ever be ashamed of that. Don't ever be ashamed of that. Be proud. Be happy. Be thankful that no matter how little you have, you're able to give back to somebody. Don't you ever fall into this thing. Oh, I don't want my right hand. No, I want my left hand. No, cut it out. Don't ever fall into that. Use God as your example. And know that if he was hiding and doing things, then we wouldn't have all the great stories that were left here for us to follow as Christians. So people, do good. Because it's a good thing. I'm doing a giveaway because I want to do it. I'm not going to hide and, you know, and pretend. And, no, I'm doing a giveaway because I am thankful. And I know that I'm giving it away. And I'm also going to be blessed in doing it. So I'm going to be blessed in, in doing this. And somebody will be blessed who wins it. So it's a it's a win-win situation. So let us not be afraid to do good. Because good is good. It's wholesome. It gives you a sense of, 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 of living and, and 
helping others to live. It gives a sense of, yes, I have a bread, but I could give somebody a half of that bread. And it feels good. It's not going to take away from anything. It just makes you feel good that somebody went to bed and had something to eat because of what you do. So what, why is it a shame to do with give those testimonies? Give your testimony because it is God who has blessed you and have given you the heart to be a giver to others. Some people have more than they can manage and they don't, they don't feel inclined to give to anyone because they feel that it's not their responsibility and they feel that, you know, they feel good about not doing. But others feel good to do good because Christ says we should do good. So, <laughs> I don't know why I'm venting, <laughs> but it's just people, I'm just trying to let us know that nothing is wrong. If you do good and you do it openly and cheerfully and happily, because sometimes when you do for one person and somebody will see that you're able to do for one person, if they have a need, they might ask you, you might be able to help two people instead of one person. So be thankful, be grateful, give glory to the Most High every time, because every time we do good, we are lifting up by the name of Jesus and we are giving him the glory okay, he lived and left the life that we should live behind and so it's okay so in the comment in the description I'm now going to tell you guys about just helping me to get to 900 subscribers maybe 1000 subscribers maybe this is the week because my anniversary is April 23rd that's going to be my one-year anniversary. It would be so nice to get to my 1,000 by my one-year anniversary in anniversary YouTube. Did I ever think I could have gone this far? I don't know if I ever thought about it. I just know that I enjoyed doing what I, what I did, and I liked what, you know, how people were responding after a while. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful that as people jump on board with King Nick and what he's doing for the people in St. Elizabeth, um, that when V drops my link, that people are coming over and giving me some love. I'm a big girl. I need a lot of love. I need a lot of love. I need a lot of love. So I just am thankful to everyone. I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. I am very grateful. And so don't, don't mind me when I do things when I give back or when I do things I am grateful I am so grateful I'm so thankful to God tonight I went I got my hair done and I didn't take a taxi back home I didn't I just walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and I got home <laughs> and it makes me feel good it's a blessing you know it's a blessing I'm still struggling with the weight I am still over overweight and every time I'm able to do something awesome, every time I'm able to move, every time I'm able to just get things done, I have to be thankful. I'm not crippled and in bed or anything. I'm up and about, but when I'm able to do more, more than just getting up, getting a shower, you know, and, and, and those little things and, and going to work and when I can do some long distance walking, when I can do, I feel good inside. And so those are the things I'm thankful for. And those are the things that I know because I'm grateful, I'm thankful. When I get up in the mornings and right now I'm on vacation and I can have a phone call and have good conversations with people, why shouldn't I be thankful? I'm thankful because it means that my faculties are still with me. It means that people still want to hear me. I'm not boring. <laughs> it means a lot, a lot, a lot. It means that I have stories in my head, experiences to share. And so, again, a lot of my videos have become motivational videos and encouraging videos. But people, it's just the love. It's just the love. 
And I can't say it often enough that love, it costs nothing. Respect costs nothing. Love begets love. You give love, love should come back to you. Will it come back from the same person? Maybe not. Doesn't mean I should stop loving. Respect begets respect. Do we know what respect is? A lot of times when we tell kids, be respectful, be respectful, but do they know what it means? Well, we just know that if you respect someone, you're not going to hurt their feelings. You're not going to say hard, hurtful things. You're not going to treat them badly. And so, as we go on living, we already have enough to deal with, with the pandemic, with unemployment, with all of the things in Jamaica, our beautiful land of wood and water that we grew up on that was so beautiful and you know I, I today I talked to my sister in Jamaica and you know I, I we talked about when I was young and where we lived in the remote parts of Jamaica and and where granny's house was and for me to get from there to the parochial road and then to the main road it was a good trek you know it was a good trek and 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 yet we, we traveled it every day for many years with nothing to worry about. And today, my God, the, the, all the unnecessary things that are going on, it is just, it is just not good. And so we must always be thankful, always try to be respectful and decent and kind and because they cost nothing. And when we do that, <clears throat> we're helping someone else to build their lives and to, to, just, um, to, to just have a better way. So my people, it's love we say. It's love, love, love and respect. Remember, love doesn't hurt, right? Love doesn't hurt. If you love someone, you're not going to want to see them cry. If you love someone, you're not going to want to see them hungry while you have a lot. If you love someone, you're not, you, you, there are little things that you're not going to take for granted, but you're going to be there. You're not going to see ugly. You're not going to see fat. You're not going to see anything degrading or anything hurtful, but you love, you love, you, you see forgiveness and encouragement and thankfulness and you use those little things to make someone else day become a better day so my people love we say onward and upward always onward and upward if you can't be good be careful but just walk it good night